Hi everybody, this is Andy Brown. I'm one of the owners and I'm the head instructor at the Climber School of Real Estate in Orlando, Florida. What I'm going to do for you right now is I'm going to go over how you calculate acreage in the government survey system legal description method. This is kind of something you have to know for your pre-license exam in Pearson View. It's out of Chapter 10 Legal Descriptions. Now I'm doing this because my students have asked me to put one up. It's not really considered a math question, believe it or not, by the Florida Real Estate Commission. But I've had so many requests, and because obviously there's a little bit of mathy stuff in it, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Now, the first thing you have to remember is that this is actually a real legal description in the government survey system. If you notice, I don't have section township range. That's actually because it doesn't matter what section, what township, and what range do not matter for this one. My opinion is, if that's there in your problem, it's just there to mess with your head a little bit and distract you. In fact, I would not be surprised if you got a question like this on your state exam with no section, township, and range because it really doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to erase this because we don't need it. The only thing that's really important is you have to remember how many acres are there in a square mile. Now it's interesting because you don't actually have to know how many feet are in a mile or yards are in a mile, which I would have thought would have been something you would need to know, but guess what, you do not. Which is too bad because I don't want to brag, but one of my very best friends is one of the most famous geologists in the entire world. He recently discovered one rock that is 5,280 feet long. National Geographic said that is an absolute milestone. Anyways, back to what I was doing. All right, now, you have to remember how many acres are there in a square mile? And the answer is 640. Now, why is that important? Because a section is one square mile. So there are 640 acres in one section. Now, I tell my students, write it down so you don't lose your place. It's not that this is super difficult, but you're not going to want to lose your place. Every single problem at Pearson View is important until you get that piece of paper that says pass one time. Then you don't have to worry about it. Now the next thing is, you're going to go down from the 640 down the row and you're going to start dividing. But here's the really good news. The only numbers that you will see at Pearson View in a problem like this are quarters and halves. Which also means you're only going to see fours and twos. I'm pretty sure you can divide by four or two. So what you're going to do, you're going to ride 640 down so you don't lose your place. And then you're going to go down the row, dividing by whatever you see until you get to the end. So 640 divided by four is 160. Now ride it down so you don't lose your place. All right, we're going to keep going. 160 divided by four is 40. Write it down so you do not lose your place. We got one more. 40 divided by 2 is 20. Write it down so you don't lose your place. I believe we have come to the end of the line. That means that that's the answer. Please try not to overthink this one. Now what you really have to watch out for is the word and, because it's going to look like this. This is what I call being in your flow zone. There's a good chance if you're too relaxed, you won't see the word and, but it'll be there. When you see the word and, it means start over, it's a second parcel, and do it again and add them together. So what if it said, and, now watch this, how about, how 
How about that? Remember, section, township, and range don't really matter. The only thing that matters is how many acres are there in a section. Write it down so you don't lose your place. And now we're going to start coming down the road until we get to the end. 640 divided by 4 is 160. 160 divided by 4 is 40. 40 divided by 4 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Since we've reached the end of the line, there's 5 acres in this parcel. 20 in the first parcel plus 5 in the second parcel. So there will be 25 acres in that combined government survey system legal description. And you might have to watch out for a second and. Because that's going to mean that you have to start over a third time and add all three parcels together. And that is how you do it. Please try not to overthink that one. You ought to be praying for 75 of those on your state exam at Pearson View. So good luck. You watch all the rest of my tutorial videos. If you need more help, why don't you call the school and come to our famous two-day review and I will tell you everything that you need to know to pass the state exam and how to set your brain thinking the right way so you'll have success. And once you pass, send me an email, andy.climberreschool at gmail.com and let me know how you did. Good luck and do not overthink this.